Hi, I'm Diane Nelson. Welcome to Meet the Candidate of Harrison Township 2020. This project is a joint effort between myself as the Senior Center Coordinator and Melissa Goins, the Library Director for Harrison Township. The program is designed to bring information to the voters of Harrison Township about the people who currently serve the township and others from our community who want to. The library nor the senior center endorses any candidates. The only goal of this project is to provide voters with information. Hi, now we're talking to Marshall Rosquin, candidate for trustee. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Marshall. Well, I was born and raised in a small town in the Thumb and received my degree in broadcasting from Central Michigan University, minor in business administration. Currently work at Ford Motor Company in an export division, manage a team um, of global and globally located individuals. And we process orders and own a, manage a system of global, use for global order processing. And I am in the North Point community of Harrison Township, where I live with my three kids and my fiance and her three kids and the wedding on the horizon. Wow, that sounds like the Brady Bunch. How wonderful. I forgot the dog too. <laughs> All right. What originally prompted you to run for trustee? Well, service. It, it, um, I remember something, and I, I want to attribute it to Abraham Lincoln, that a person dedicated to service of others should be willing to, at the time for him, I believe it was to travel to Washington and leave his farm behind, where it would be a struggle. I, I want to serve my community, bring a diverse, both from a cultural perspective because of my exposure, my business background, and the cultural experiences um, with regard to thoughts to a position where I can potentially uh, enrich the community in which I live, but also from my business perspective, bring some fiscal responsibility and question. Well, it's more not, not so question. I, I, I believe anybody running it has their heart set on doing the right thing for the community. But with my experience, what I want to do is question with a fresh set of eyes. Why are we doing things the way we do? And those are the primary reasons why I'm running. So what do you see as the general concerns of the township and how do you plan to address them? Okay, good question. Um, no one likes to pay taxes. So one of the things is I would end the process of special assessments without the vote of those that are going to be assessed. I would also do everything I can working with the county and the state to improve our roads. We have dirt roads in this community. We have roads that were once paved, but they're worse than dirt. And we need to address those things. That, that's the primary. I, what I want to do is address infrastructure because infrastructure will attract business and new families and spending in our community, which will then cycle and keep doing the Doppler effect so we can grow the businesses in our community, the tax base, without levying new taxes. So infrastructure primarily focused on roads and then the other issue is keeping our water clean because we have this beautiful park with Metro, uh, Lake St. Clair Metro Park and kids can't swim in it. So I want to work okay, with the uh, supervisor and pressure Mark Hackle and Candace Miller to work with the state to have the sewage no longer dumped upstream from us. What are your involvements in other community affairs? Um, pre predominantly, it's with children's types of charities or events uh, located and run through the Trinity Lutheran Church, where I'm a member. Is there anything else that you would like to add, Marshall? No, not really. Thank you. I, uh, I look forward to the opportunity to serve, and I look forward to 
a new perspective. Um, I, one of the things that I've never been pulled on by any of the current trustees, I've never received a phone call. What are your thoughts? I have to believe that trustees only hear the phone messages that are sent to them. You know, we're, their uh, constituents took the initiative to make the call. So you're only getting a, a one piece of the pie. So to see it in a 360 degree circle, whether it's a small circle or a big circle, you need to look into the inside from different locations. Hearing only from one group of constituents isn't significant enough of a sample. You need to make some calls and get some, get some feedback from people that aren't calling. All right, well, thank you so much for telling us about yourself, Marshall, and for offering to serve in our community. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to talk with me today. It was a real pleasure, thank you. I'm Melissa Goins. Thank you for tuning in to meet the candidates of Harrison Township 2020. Don't forget to vote at the polls on August 4th and November 3rd or with an absentee ballot. All voting information for Harrison Township can be found at htvotes.com. That's HT for Harrison Township, votes.com.